So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the reissues of Dr. Afra, BT-1, and Triple Zero. So these came out in 2019. I didn't start collecting until 2020, so I missed all three of these, and they've been pretty expensive ever since. So I was very happy to hear about these getting reissued, and I'm so glad to finally add these to the collection. And of course, these were reissued in the original red and black box. You got Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the windows, you can see each figure. So Dr. Afra comes with her helmet and a DL-44. BT-1 comes with some extra weaponry that snaps onto his legs, and Triple Zero is just Triple Zero. There's nothing on the top. The front window wraps around on this side with the large font, that side, you know, the red side with the numbers, and the bottom, of course, is the barcode and lots of tiny print. And there's the back of each box. You got the same pictures that are on the front. You can see each one of them's number, 87, 88, and 89. You got a bio in various languages, and then some tiny print at the bottom. And the bio for Dr. Afra says, On a mission gone wrong, Dr. Afra finds herself at the hands of the formidable Sith Lord Darth Vader. A rare survivor of such meetings, Afra is recruited by Vader for her skills in reprogramming droids and her apparent lack of remorse for breaking the law to get what she wants. And BT's bio says, A hostile astromech droid, BT-1 or BT, works with Dr. Afra alongside the protocol droid Triple Zero on destructive missions. The black metal-plated droid is heavily armored, with flamethrowers and other destructive weapons. And here's Triple Zero's bio. Activated by Dr. Afra, Triple Zero is a droid program for etiquette, protocol, and translations, but also specializes in interrogation and torture. With his fluency in a droid language unique to the Tarkin Initiative Labs, the dark, silver-plated droid reactivates an assassin astromech droid, BT-1. All right, I'm going to get Dr. Afra, BT, and Triple Zero open, and let's take a look at them. And here are the reissues of Dr. Afra, BT-1, and Triple Zero out of the box, and I think they look great. Now, I did not read any of the Dr. Afra books or comics, so I don't have a super strong connection to these characters, but I know who they are, and I've always wanted them for the collection. I just think they look super cool. Very happy to have them, but let's go in reverse order, and let's take a look at Triple Zero first. All right, so here's Triple Zero, and I think he looks fantastic. I mean, the glossy, dark gray body is just very cool. I'm loving that. And I did not see in the box. They were tucked way down in there. He does have some alternate hands. So that's nice. I'll get to those real soon. Uh, but back to this. His eyes look very nice. I'm loving the red eyes. Again, the glossiness of him. He's got some scratches throughout. The wires down here look great. The arms. So these are the updated arms. Okay, They do have this little piston that rides in that little track there. So you do get a little more range in the elbows. So that's always welcome. But the, the hands, these hands, all right, these are obviously his torture hands. You've got an assortment of blades and saws, and this must be a little blowtorch. He's got a little circular saw in his thumb, some more blades, some more pokey things. Well, it's, just, it's just wicked. And, of course, his lower half is just, you know, it's a protocol droid. It looks like he's supposed to. So those are silver. Some scratches there, some scratches there. And the feet look great. I mean, it's a, it's a cool-looking droid. I am so happy to finally have this guy. And as you know, the articulation on the protocol droid body isn't that great. I mean, he's got some range in his head. No tilt, but some up and down and some side to side. The arms get up that far. They can rotate around. And again, the elbows have a little more range. I'm digging it. And then the hands. All right, so these hands, this one's hinged up and down. And the left one is also hinged up and down on this one, right? Yeah, that's an up and down hinge. All right, so up and down on these hands for midsection, he's got a little bit of motion. Okay, not bad. For legs, if you rotate them out just a touch, they can get up that far. They go out, not very far at all. They go back, mm, just a smidge. Knees, that's it. And then feet down, feet up, and swivel at the ankle. So the articulation is just as expected, okay? But it's not terrible. And to switch out the hands, you just pull. Okay, they come out pretty easily. Let's see, where's the right one? Okay. Now, all right, this one is very loose. It's extremely loose. Okay, that's not cool. Let's see about the left one. Dang. And snap. All right. Okay, so there's his non-torture hands. He's got a trigger finger. Okay, they obviously reused this on Forlom and maybe one jack. I don't know. Um... Yeah, so that's what that looks like. I don't think I'll pose him like this, but it's nice that they included some extra hands. I mean, that's always a bonus. Yeah, I don't think I'll use these. 
I'll put these back on. Yeah, these are just super neat. Man, yeah, that right one is extremely loose. That just barely sits in there. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Fortunately, the torture hand's nice and tight. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see. Hang on one second. So these hands, all right, so the right hand has an up and down hinge, and for the alternate hand, the left hand has a side-to-side -side hinge. Okay, so that's a little bit different. Yeah, they're just reversed. But on the torture hands, both are hinged up and down. So that's nice. Yeah, I think triple zero looks just wonderful. I mean, the wires on the belly are very clean, front and back. I love the shininess of him. Yeah, very happy with this one. Let's take a look at BT1 next. And here is BT1 or BT. And yes, it's on the old Astromech mold. So it is grossly undersized, but his weaponry makes him look a little bigger, kind of bulks him up a little bit. So I'm kind of happy about that. But overall, I mean, the paint is just beautiful on this thing. The red sensor there, the silver, a little bit of blue, this color, kind of a bronzy color is very nice. Slightly different sheen on these doors, the silver. It is pretty clean for the most part. This one may have missed a little bit. It's not terrible though, it's not bad. Um, this is very nice. That's a good looking aftermath, I have to say, you know, despite being small, um, that's what the back looks like. These are outlined, so that's nice. This is cool, that, yeah. I'm liking it, and of course, this old body has the turn the head, third leg comes out gimmick, um, okay. So you can put him in the three leg configuration and the third leg has some nice bronzish kind of pink there. I am digging that, that's nice. And that's what he looks like, three legs, okay. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Let's wind this back up for a second. That's so silly. I really wish they would have <laughs> done this to where you can just either pull it out or, or have it swappable, you know, but overall. It's not bad, and as far as the weapons, yeah, you have this multi-rocket launcher up here. That has a few points of articulation, okay? That can bend, and this giant thing almost looks like some sort of Gatling gun. I mean, you have multiple barrels. You have this thing. You got this belt-fed ammo back here. The red in there is nice and vibrant. Yeah, those are super cool. Now, for these, all right, so they can come out, and you got these panels here on the side that are very difficult to get off. Man, stand by. Wow, yeah, those are really tight. And that's what that looks like. Okay, just two pegs. So if you don't want his weapons on, take these panels off. And just pop those in place. Okay, and then same thing on this side. See how difficult this one is. Not as difficult as the other one. You can pop those in. All right, so now he looks more like a regular astromech. Okay, minus all the weaponry. But I don't like it like this. I am definitely going to keep his armament on his head just because it looks so cool. Pop this massive thing back in. And then these plates can just go right back. And these are side specific, okay, as far as how they line up there, okay. And then this one can go on. There, that's how I'm gonna keep him. And BT also comes with these things that can snap on his legs, okay, some more weapons. Now this one is kind of difficult to get out, there we go. And these are side specific, okay, you got a small slot and a big slot. Okay, so you have to line those up. That goes in there. Now this one on this side, on, on his left side is extremely loose. It just barely sits in there. It'll probably fall out several times during this video, maybe. And then this one will go here. And that's what that looks like. And again, it does bulk him up a little bit. It does make him look a little bit bigger. And I'm all for that. But you yeah, have these things. I don't know what these are. Probably some kind of rocket launchers or I don't know. They look great. And I imagine these probably double as rocket boosters as well. Yeah, those are fantastic. Now, of course, he has a little doors here. Let me get something to pick up. He does have some arms that come out. Okay, so he's got that thing. Probably a shock prod of some sort. Then you have this one. This is probably his scomp link. Yeah. Oops. See? That one's already falling off. Yeah, this thing is super loose. I may have to put a little piece of sticky tack on there uh, to hold this one in place. Um, so, yeah, these doors do open. 
and he's got two tools there. So that's nice. I don't know if I'll display them like that, but it's nice that they're there. These are flush. Um, but yeah, that is BT in a nutshell. I love the look of him. And again, all his weaponry does bulk him up a little bit. There it goes again. Man, that's frustrating. Stay on. There. All right. There's BT, and I like it. And last, let's take a look at Dr. Afra, Dr. Chelly Lana Afra, and she looks good. So she shares part of Jaina Solo's body, the torso, the belt, and the legs. I believe I don't own Jaina Solo. Uh, comment below if I just screwed that up, but I'm pretty sure it's Jaina Solo like in here because the belt's the same because the lightsaber hook's there, and I'm pretty sure the legs are the same. But it totally works. I mean, it looks great. I think the face looks pretty good, the hair. The shirt has a nice wash on it, really makes those details pop. The vest looks nice. Her electro tattoo looks really good, very clean. Fingerless gloves look really good. I'm digging those gloves. Holster and belt combo, very cool. Nice shiny silver buckle. Pants look fantastic. Now up here and here is a totally different shade of blue. It's no huge deal, it's just a little weird. Um, but the detail is nice. The wrinkles look great, and the boots look great. I mean, it's a, it's a good-looking figure. And let's look at articulation on Dr. Afra. So you do have some side-to-side -side of the head. I think the hair kind of gets in the way. Some very good down, but not a whole lot of up and zero tilt. Arms get up to there. They can rotate around. Now, this right elbow is pretty tight. I kind of have to hold back here to bend it just to, like, stabilize it. It's very tight. Uh, but they get to 90, okay, not terrible. I would, I would like to see a little more range, but you know, it's a, it's a slightly older body. Uh, swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. You have, what is that, a side-to-side -side hinge on the right hand and also a side-to-side -side hinge on the left hand. So that's that. Now for midsection, all right, so up here at the mid-torso, you've got some swivel, some crunch, and some back, and some tilt, but then you have this big cutout right here. So she, she, she crunches very far and she goes back very far. So that's cool. Lots of movement in here for legs. All right. So the right one goes up, no problem. The left one, you kind of have to take it out at a V almost because the holster is glued down here and in the back. Okay. So that does kind of get in the way. They go out to there. They go back pretty far. Thigh swivel, but you really can't use the one on the right because of the holster being glued down. Double knees, get up all the way to there. I like it. And then feet down, feet up that far, and some swivel at the ankle. Come on, stand up. So Dr. Afra can be a little bit difficult to stand sometimes, or at least mine. Uh, there. All right, so the articulation on Dr. Afra isn't stellar, but it's not terrible by any means. And let's take a look at accessories for Dr. Afra. So here's her helmet or skull cap, whatever you want to call it. Got some goggles that are sculpted in. Okay, those are fixed. They do not move, but the strap here looks nice. There's a wash throughout that really makes those details pop. These, yeah, it's a cool looking hat or helmet or skull cap. And let's see how this looks on her. Yeah, I like it. I like it. The hair does not affect anything. I love how it hangs out the back down here. Yeah, it's, a, it's a cool looking lid. I love this. And here's the DL44 that comes with Dr. Afra, And I think it looks pretty good. You got some silver there on the end of the barrel. The sculpt looks great. Now, I do have some silver there where the rear sight would be. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not, but it's there. The flip side, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, flip side looks like that, okay. It's a DL-44, and I like it. And let's see how Dr. Afra holds this weapon, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Trigger finger is sitting right on the trigger, going right through the trigger guard, I'm digging that. Now, sadly, you know, once again, the wrists are hinged horizontally. Eh, it's okay. All right, so let's get her in some kind of little pose with her arm just out firing. Yeah, that actually looks really good. And there she is about to draw her weapon with her you know, left hand here on the belt. I think that's a pretty good pose there. And firing from the hip. All right, this is about as best you can do because the elbows only get to 90 and the wrist hinge is oriented in the wrong direction. Uh, but that's not bad, I don't think. And real quick before I stick her on the shelf, let's see how the holster works. Okay, there. That's <laughs> pretty tight. Uh, but that looks really good with the barrel sticking out. Yeah, the holster works well. But I think for display purposes, I'm just going to leave Dr. Afra just like this with the right arm out, just firing. I think this is a pretty good pose. All right, so Dr. Afra, BT1, and I decided to put BT1 in his three-leg configuration just to mix it up a little bit. 
kind of like the look of this, and Triple Zero. This is an awesome looking trio. So glad to finally have them. So let's go stick these three on the shelf and let's see how they look there. And there we have it, and I am quite pleased with how these look. So I cleared out a spot right before Return of the Jedi, right in front of the Lucasfilm publishing version of Aphra, and I have the Revenge of the Jedi Vader there. So I'll put these here, and I'm happy. I mean, Dr. Aphra, from head to toe, just looks fantastic. BT, the colors are just nice, and especially that red there on that particular weapon. Just love that. And triple zero. I mean, those red eyes really stand out. And of course, his little torture fingers are just cool. Yeah, very, very happy to have these on the shelf. So bottom line, it is a nice looking trio of figures. And I wanted to do these three together since they are sort of a team. But Dr. Afra, from head to toe, looks great. The helmet, the face, the outfit, just a great looking figure. BT1, I love the colors. The weaponry makes him look bigger than he is, so I'm happy about that. And then Triple Zero, this glossy, smoky gray, just looks awesome. And these torture hands are just super cool. And I'm happy that he came with some alternate hands. That's always a bonus, but I will most likely keep these on. Just love that. Yeah, I'm super happy to have these three, finally. But just like always, I would love to hear from you guys. So comment below, and let me know what you think of these reissues of Dr. Aphra, BT-1, and Triple Zero. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, smack like and subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And something else that I would love for you to consider, and that is joining the channel. It is the 112th Battalion. It's only 99 cents a month. You'll get sneak peeks to upcoming videos, custom emojis, loyalty badges, all those super fun things. I would definitely appreciate that. But just like always, thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all next time.